Raspberry Pi has its own HDMI port, which can drive a monitor or a TV. But most embedded systems need to display just a small amount of information. Is it possible that a small LCD might be enough for your application? A 4 lines, 20 characters per line LCD can show complex messages, scroll through menus, read and display input variables, and set output values. The standard small LCDs come in two flavors, two lines of 16 characters each, and four lines of 20 characters each. The 1602 is 80 mm wide, and 36 mm tall. The 2004 displays come in two sizes, 77 by 47 mm, and 98 by 60 mm. You can buy all three displays with monochrome or RGB backlighting. The monochrome displays have a 16-pin connector, while the RGB use 18 pins. All other dimensions are identical. Both fit on the same layout. Introducing the Sequent Microsystem 6-in-1 LCD Display Adapter Kit for Raspberry Pi This hat plugs into the 40-pin GPIO connector but uses only the I2C port to communicate, leaving all other 26 pins available for other tasks. The 18-pin LCD connector accepts displays with either RGB or monochrome backlighting. The adapter features a rotary encoder and six tactile push buttons. The encoder and push buttons can be installed in two different positions, for smaller or larger displays. To use the kit with the larger four-line display, install the encoder and push buttons on the bottom row. If you want to use the kit with a two-line display, or the smaller four-line display, Install the encoder and the push buttons on the top row and break the PCB at perforations. Here is the LCD adapter kit with the two lines of 16 characters LCD installed. If two lines are not enough for your application, you can use the four lines display. You can scroll through multiple menus, display inputs and set output ports very efficiently. We'll show you an example of using the rotary encoder and two push buttons to implement a multi-zone sprinkler controller. You can download this application from GitHub. On the top menu, the encoder is used to scroll through three functions. Select Irrigation Zone, select the Start Time, and select the Run Time. The active function is indicated by a star on the first column. Press the left push button to select the active function. Now the encoder is used to rotate through all your irrigation zones. Press again the left button to edit the desired zone. The encoder changes its function again, to select the start time. Use the right push button to exit to the previous menu. Repeat the process to adjust the run time, and so on. You can use your imagination to make nested menus, and let your Raspberry Pi climb to new heights.